before the video starts, I just want to say that I have school starting soon, so I won't be able to upload and live stream as much. Live streaming will probably have to go to weekends only, and m maybe videos will come out like maybe once every two or three days, because I'll be pretty busy. I hope that's okay, and let's get back to the video. So now I'm going to be showing you guys different ways on how to survive uh, fall damage. And what I'm actually going to do, since it's going to be very embarrassing if I miss the MLG, I'm just going to place this water down here. Alright, and just take it away. And, oh, well you see just like this, I'm just getting down. Boom, no fall damage taken. Anyway... I'll see if I cobweb, I'm just gonna jump straight in the middle. Nothing happens. And I don't have a sword, it'll take a while to break. But I'll just get out quickly. Now you need to go away. So another way to survive a fall from this high is to use a hay block. Now these don't take away all fall damage, so you have to be careful. But they reduce it by a lot. So if I can just land this MLG hay bale real quick. You see, from this high up, I only took three hearts of damage. So just in case I don't click fast enough, I did put a slime block here just to show um, what it does without actually having to try. So if I just land on here, boing, I just bounce. I don't uh, take any damage unless I crouch. Then I stop bouncing. Next on the list, scaffolding. Scaffolding is pretty easy to craft if you have the right materials, and all you have to do is fall onto a scaffolding from any height. But you have to make sure that you are crouching when you are falling, or the scaffolding, or you'll just fall on the top of the scaffolding and die. So if I just hop into scaffolding, I'm crouching, as you can see. Boom, perfectly fine. And I'll just take it with me. So next on my list is a red bed. Now it can be any color of bed to work, but it works similar to a hay bale. It doesn't reduce all fall damage, but it reduces most of it. So down here, yes, I have a bed. If I just land on this real quickly, bowing, I take more fall damage than with a hay bale, but enough to survive a fall from all the way up there. And next on the list, Weeping Vines, or the blue version in another day. I don't know what it's called. But if you can see, I have it hanging from this block right here. And when I go into it, it slows it down just like a cobweb, but faster. And it'll just float down right to the ground. Perfectly unharmed. So now I'm going to be showing you guys different ways on how to survive uh, fall damage. And what I'm actually going to do, since it's going to be very embarrassing if I miss the MLG, is I'm just going to place this water down here. Alright, and just take it away. And, oh, well you see, just like this, I'm just getting down. Boom, no fall damage taken. Next trick, boots with feather falling. But I did have to do a little bit of cheating, feather falling a thousand, just just to make me survive the fall. Um, if you guys want to get these feather falling boots, just use this thing of a stick that I have here, and you can go ahead and change it from level to feather falling, and here from maybe a stick to I don't know leather boots any type of boots work and I have boots with feather falling a thousand so if I just put these netherite boots on and I jump down here three damage pretty much like an ender pearl from all the way up there so next on the list is an elytra if I just equip it by left clicking we can see it's where my chest plate goes this just lets me glide no problem, unless I don't dive straight down, then you shouldn't take any damage. Except they're very hard to get, you have to beat the Ender Dragon to get these. But when you do, it's, it's pretty cool. 
second to last is the chorus fruit which can only be found in the end but it's very uh, efficient y you can eat it and it teleports you somewhere randomly and since there's not much space up there on my platform it teleports me automatically to the ground all right next on the list is a po splash potion of slow falling or any potion of slow falling if I just splash this down you can see I have effect slow falling for three and a half minutes what this does is that I jump and I fall really slowly and this will remove all fall damage I just fall really slowly and I'm done you you can get potions you can just give yourself the effect it's very useful for my next trick trick horses you have to make sure the horse is tamed and the horse has a saddle on it well I mean it doesn't have to have a saddle but it should if you're a good horse keeper but if you can just click fast enough when you're above the horse which I didn't you will just land safe and sound on the horse next on my list berries they are fun easy to get their food they help with fall damage they reduce all fall damage like a cobweb and I'm about to show you that so you go, you might not see it but down there I have a sweetberry bush and if I just fall boom I lay on the bush and I get maybe take a damage or two but otherwise no damage taken at all next on my list is a boat any type of boat you know the drill is okay but there are actually two ways to survive a fall with the boat. You could MLG boat, which I don't really feel like doing. Or if you just place a boat down and then just drive off. Whee! Perfectly fine. Just take the boat. Boop, I got it. And next we have the one, the only. Yeah, it's an ender pearl. You, you know the drill. Right click, boom. A little bit of damage. Nothing too much. But safe and sound, as always. Last, but certainly, certainly not least, we have honey blocks. They will reduce all fall damage like a scaffolding if you land on them while crouching. So if I land this honey block right here while crouching, you see I slid right down. Nothing happened. I can just break and take it along with me. But anyway guys, this has been uh, my video of how to survive fall damage remade. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to subscribe and like the video. And I'll see you guys next time.